My family has always been proud of their Irish heritage, so I had to do a special St. Patrick's Day episode of Whiskey Riffs. I've got some Irish music, I've got some green spot, good old Irish whiskey. Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. I'm Kevin, and today we're going to do a special episode for St. Patrick's Day. No guitar, just some Irish music in the background, and some lovely Irish pot still whiskey. Now, Green Spot is one of my favorite Irish whiskeys, so I picked that for today. I know I say favorite whiskey a lot. I have a lot of favorite whiskeys, but honestly, when it comes to Irish whiskey, Green Spot, and Red Breast 12. They're really on par, it depends on which mood I'm in for the day. And Green Spot, like Red Breast 12, is a single pot still Irish whiskey that's triple distilled, and they both happen to be uh, matured in both sherry and oak casks. And they both, like many Irish whiskeys, have a combination of malted and unmalted barley. And if you're interested in what malting is, check out my previous video. I'll put a link in the uh, description below for it. And I've also reviewed Redbreast 12, which I'll also put a link and you can watch that as well. Green Spot ha is made by Mitchell and & Son, and they've been distilling whiskey at the Middleton distilleries for almost 200 years. They also make red spot and yellow spot and these colors these splotches were originally dabbed on the casks when they were shipping them to denote the different types of uh, casking that they were using the different flavor profiles so they just decided it's a great name for the whiskey we'll just leave it at the color spots that we used to put on the casks a green spot is the most approachable, most affordable one. I believe yellow spot's next, and then red spot is the most expensive. Let's go ahead and do tasting on this. Now, green spot is traditional Irish whiskey. It's not going to slap you around. It's going to be very friendly. It's very approachable. For me, immediately when I open up the bottle, I get green apple. I smell that. I smell the um, a little bit of sweetness. Maybe some maybe some oils like an like an olive oil. The predominant nose for me is the green apple. There's a little bit of oak spice up front, but then it gets sherried and sweet. There's apple there, a little bit of um, a little bit of coconut. I remember getting uh, as a kid. I used to eat these coconut cookies, and um, they came with little stripes on them. You break them up and kind of eat each stripe by its own. Kind of reminds me of that flavor where you get the the cookie breadiness, but also that hint of of coconut flavor too. And the finish is. It's fairly long, um, maybe maybe more of a medium finish. But I get the, the spice still, a little bit of pepper, you get the sherry on the finish as well. This is very approachable. In fact, it is 40%, which is 80 proof, and that's the minimum for uh, it to be called whiskey. And I have no problem with this at all. Uh, at 40%, this still has a lot of flavor. It is so well done. I believe that is because of the way it's processed. The triple distilling, the way an Irish whiskey is triple distilled, 
gives you so much nuance, so much flavor, even though it's at a low proof. I really appreciate what they do with their whiskeys and how enjoyable it is to sit there and, and sip on an Irish whiskey without having to think too much about it or, or those days when I don't want to fight a, uh, a peaty, smoky whiskey. I, I really gravitate towards Green Spot. I will, this is, a, this is a fairly new bottle and you can see I've definitely enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the Irish. Green Spot's very available and I don't think I've ever had a problem getting it at any place around me, check near you. They're, they're distilled at Middleton, they're distributed by Jameson. That's why you get a lot of the uh, Irish whiskeys at every single location when you go to buy a whiskey. I paid $50 for this bottle and I've seen it as high as 60 in some places around me. Your miles may vary as always. Check around, you see if you can get it at a good price. As always, if you're enjoying my videos, give me a like, click that subscribe button and bang that bell so I can notify you when a new episode is available. I have a second episode coming this week, so you get a double. And that will be my rye episode. It's challenging for me. I hope you enjoy it still. I have a lot of great memories of St. Patrick's Day. You would think my family was first generation instead of three removed. Uh, we always celebrated it uh, to the max. Uh, my one sister still does. And my father loved just spending time with friends. We grew up in Buffalo, New York and the parade in that town was a big thing every year. I remember as a kid just going to the parade, watching all of the activity, spending time hanging out while our parents uh, raised many glasses in celebration, any excuse to drink, right? I hope you're enjoying your St. Patrick's Day. As for me, I'm going to raise a glass to my father and to all the great memories I have of St. Patrick's Days in the past and many more in the future. Slancha. So you get the best of both worlds. You get a lot of flavors, you get a lot of nuance, and you get a low alcohol level if you're not into the cast strength whis whiskeys. Whiskeys. If you're not into the cast strength whiskeys. <sighs> Talking is so difficult. Anyway.